The James Webb Space Telescope has been in space for several months now. Despite a micrometeoroid problem and a bug, its performance is outperforming predictions. This incredible telescope's near-infrared camera searches for objects in space by detecting infrared light. It also examines astronomical objects that are too cold or too dim to be seen in visible light, such as stars, nebulae and planets, as well as what is visible to the naked eye. Two new photographs of Jupiter from the James Webb Space Telescope were made public by NASA, revealing the planet's characteristics in great detail. What further information could these images possibly hold? Join us as we delve deeper. Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun, is the giant planet in the solar system with a mass more than twice that of all the other planets put together. Since Galileo Galilei discovered the first moons between Earth in 1610, Jupiter has continued to stun astronomers. The light shed by that finding completely recast our cosmos conception. Clouds of ammonia and water vapor blow about in Jupiter's frigid, windy hydrogen and helium atmosphere to create the planet's distinctive stripes and swirls. NASA's James Webb Orbit Telescope, the JWST, is the most powerful and advanced space telescope ever built. The James Webb Space Telescope, which cost $10 billion, was created to explore the cosmos and learn about the universe's origins, such as the Big Bang and the creation of exoplanets. The Hubble Space Telescope and other large space telescopes are part of NASA's great observatories, which explore the depths of space. Like its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope will snap stunning images of distant galaxies. Fortunately, the Hubble Space Telescope is still functioning normally, so scientists may use both telescopes in tandem throughout JWST's early years. Webb's studies of Jupiter will give researchers more details on the gas giant's hidden biology. Interestingly, Veteran citizen scientist Judy Schmidt of Modesto, California, analyzed these fresh pictures of Jupiter. She worked with Ricardo Hueso, a co-investigator on these observations, who researches planetary atmospheres at the University of the Basque Country in Spain to create the picture that shows the small satellites. Surprisingly, Schmidt needs formal training in astronomy. However, she discovered her unquenchable enthusiasm for image processing via an ESA contest about a decade ago. The public was encouraged to sift through Hubble data for new jewels as part of the Hubble's Hidden Treasures contest. Out of over 3,000 entries, Schmidt's photograph of a budding star won third place. She has been working on the Hubble and other telescope data as a hobby since the ESA competition. She said, something about it simply stayed with me and I can't stop. Every day, I could spend hours and hours. She processed photographs of nebulae, globular clusters, star nurseries, and other more amazing cosmic things since she loved astronomy images. I strive to make things seem natural, even though it's not anything near what your eye can perceive, is her guiding principle. Professional astronomers have taken notice of these photographs, including Hamill, who previously worked with Schmidt to improve Hubble's images of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9's encounter with Jupiter. According to Schmidt, Jupiter is an active planet with enormous storms, strong winds and auroras, high temperatures and pressure. A composite of the first two images of Jupiter shows the giant planet in the solar system against the dark backdrop of space with swirls of various hues signifying Jupiter's chaotic atmosphere. In this standalone view of Jupiter, auroras can be seen extending to great heights over both the northern and southern poles of the planet. The light from the auroras is filtered via a redder color map, highlighting light reflected from lower clouds and higher hazes. The northern and southern poles may be surrounded by hazes in a separate filter mapped to yellows and greens. A blue mapped third filter shows the light reflected from a more profound primary cloud. The planet's top and bottom strong orange lights indicate Jupiter's northern and southern auroras, 
which are situated near its poles. The well-known Great Red Spots, which according to NASA is 1.3 times the diameter of Earth and can generate winds of more than 250 miles per hour, is also visible in the picture. This well-known storm that is so large it may engulf Earth as well as other clouds seem white because they reflect a lot of sunlight. According to Heidi Hamill, Webb Transdisciplinary Scientist for Solar System Studies and Vice President of Aura Science, the Great Red Spot and the equatorial area also have high-altitude hazes. Their research also proves the many dazzling white spots and streaks are probably extremely high-altitude cloud tops from condensed convective storms. Dark ribbons north of the equatorial zone, in contrast, are cloudless. Notably, the information from observatories like Webb doesn't come in a tidy bundle to Earth. Instead, it includes details regarding the intensity of the light detected by Webb's detectors. The Space Telescope Scientific Institute, or STSI, Webb's Mission and Science Operations Center, receives this data as raw data. The data is calibrated by STSI and sent to the Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes for distribution after processing. In the course of their study, scientists then interpret that data into pictures. While staff at STSI officially prepares web photographs for publication, citizen scientists or amateur astronomers often go through the public data library to obtain and analyze images. With that out of the way, let's proceed to the new pictures of Jupiter. According to the Space Agency, the second picture provides a broader perspective of Jupiter and its rings, which are over a million times fainter than the planet. Adrestia and Amalthea, two of Jupiter's moons, are visible to the far left of the rings. Although most of the picture is dark, there are fuzzy specks in the bottom part representing distant dim galaxies that are blazing. Because of Jupiter's speed, Schmidt claims it is more challenging to study than farther flung celestial marvels. When Jupiter's distinguishing characteristics have rotated and are no longer aligned, after the photographs were shot, combining a stack of images into a single perspective might be difficult. To arrange the pictures logically, she sometimes needs to make digital modifications. Schmidt would be most enthusiastic about additional web images of star-forming areas, even though Webb will provide observations about every stage of cosmic history. Her big Haro objects, tiny nebula patches with intense jets, produced by young stars, particularly intrigue her. She added, I'm so excited to witness these strange and unique young stars bursting holes into nebulas. While we have learned quite a bit about the fifth planet from the Sun, Jupiter, there are still many things about this gas giant that remain a mystery. Now, researchers are digging through the Webb spacecraft's data and photographs to glean even more information, and NASA's Juno Orbiter is also keeping a close eye on the planet. With these tech devices in place, scientists and researchers will develop new discoveries sooner rather than later. Do you believe there's something mysterious about Jupiter? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.